Hello smart learners today you will learn about QC in design rationale QC in design rationale basically means design rationale uses a semi formal notation called QC questions options and criteria to represent the design space around an object so why do we make QC because it is helpful in decision making process of a design and can be very useful when maintaining and evolving the design it encourages teams to consider multiple alternative decision design solutions it avoids converging on a solution prematurely and it helps make the design space more explicit this is qoc notation which has question that needs to be solved and to solve it we can opt for alternative options depending upon their pros and cons and and an option that is highlighted has been chosen can also come up with question which is basically consequent question or sub questions and the solution to that question is also provided with alternative options now let's look its real life example and understand it with the help of example following are some notations in which straight arrow shows positive assessment and dotted arrow shows negative assessment which you will see in, in diagram now so if we have question that uh, we want to buy pc for our graphic designing then we can opt for multiple solutions depending upon on our need and keeping in mind their pros and cons so the options we have are mac pc and surface if we go for any available option then every option has some criteria so if we go for mac then its positive assessment is building best quality Another positive assessment for choosing Mac is its enhanced performance. But its negative assessment is that our budget is low and Macs are relatively expensive as compared to other systems. But if we go for PC, then our budget is low and PCs are relatively cheaper as compared to Macs. So another positive assessment for choosing PC is that it is best for 3D modeling and animation. but its negative assessment is that it does not build the best quality so if you go for surface then its positive assessment is that it is also best for 3d modeling and animation but its negative negative assessment is that it is difficult to learn now looking toward the concept of sub questions then if we have chosen one option then there is possibility that a sub questions arises from that question which is that how can i learn surface if it is difficult to learn then its uh, solutions can include spending time on learning and another solutions can be that you should opt for online help so i hope that you got the concept of qsc with a real life example uh, and thank you for watching the video